Hey guys, uh, we've got the Super ATV 2 inch lift today uh, for the 2015 and 2014 CF Moto Z Force 800 EX. What these are is a 2 inch coil spring spacer and uh, it's supposed to give you a true 2 inches of lift, so we're going to go ahead and get those installed today and uh, hopefully get out and get a little ride time with them later. I've got several other things that I've got to get put on, so if I can get some time to do that, we will. Uh, these are constructed of billet aluminum. Uh, they're all the same size, so they go on all four corners. And here's a good look at the spacer right there. And all you got to do is pull your shock off, uh, take the coil springs off of them, put the spacer in, and put them back together and reinstall them, and your lift is good. Before we get started working, let's take a look at the tools that we're going to need to get this job done. Um, it really doesn't take a whole lot. And what you can see here is a pair of gloves that's handy to have for when you're cranking down ratchet straps and compressing the springs. And uh, that'll take us to the actual ratchet straps. These are hookless ratchet straps. You may see those also called uh, ratchet lashing straps, or you may even see it called an endless ratchet strap. Uh, but these are definitely preferred to the hooked ratchet straps. You can get it done with hooked ratchet straps. I got three out of four of mine done uh, with that method. But on the fourth one, I ended up having to go pick up these three endless ratchet straps because this one was already available. But these will get a lot tighter and a lot firmer hold on your springs when you're compressing them. And you'll see what I mean by that actually in the video when I'm doing it and describing how to get that done. Uh, you'll want a few old rags, uh, cloth, whatever you have available just to protect the paint on your springs uh, from the ratchets. You'll need a 15 millimeter socket extension if you have one available. A uh, half inch drive ratchet. 15 millimeter in wrench or ratchet wrench whatever you have available and I've got a half inch impact also just to speed things up and your upper bolt up in there I don't you won't be able to get an impact in but just get a ratchet and extension we'll get that guy off Okay, so these are 15 millimeter bolts, and I've got that one partially worked out. We've got the nut off of that one. And I do have mine on a lift, so what you'll need to do, I'm just going to stick my foot under here and kind of pull that up just to support it a little bit. And when you get a little bit of uh, pressure lifted up on that A-arm and wheel, you should be able to pull that bolt right out. And we can let that drop. Get this shock right out of here. So I don't, I obviously don't have a spanner wrench, so I just hit the threads with a little bit of WD 40 and then had to use a screwdriver and hammer method. So after much to do with trying to figure out how to get the spring down, I finally got my ratchet straps. I was running them through the wrong direction and pulling the top of the spring down when I need to be pulling the bottom of the spring up. So when you take your strap, drop it down from the top to the bottom and pull it back down to you with the ratchet. But anyway, once you get them ratcheted down, this is what you want to come off right here. Now, I put, went ahead and put a third ratchet strap on there. Once you do that, and you've got your uh, retaining ring off, it works best to have the third one on because your uh, spring may start to bend to one side or the other. But once you get it on there, it should come right off like that. Okay. Now we take the spring spacer, you load it from the bottom, and you want the flanged end right here to face down. So it'll be like that right there. Then you can look at your coils in case you've forgotten which way you've set it. Ignore the rags, they're just on there to protect the paint. But your coil more spread out here is going to be the top of the spring and your closer ones are going to be on the bottom. So in our case, it needs to load on like so. Like that. Right there. And I'm going to have to compress the spring a little bit more so I can get the retaining 
ring in there to uh, hold the spring back on. Here's the shock with uh, the two inch spacer installed on it. Really all you do is just set it back up on there and get your preload set how you want it. Here I'm going to try and give you a relatively quick demonstration of what you need to do when you drop the straps down. So take the open end of your ratchet strap starting at the top of the spring. Take a screwdriver and pull it through that coil. Like that right there. If you were taking the ratchet, you would put it this way, spin it around this way. So part of the ratchet strap that you have fed through, you're going to have an open part of the loop. And this is if you don't have hookless straps. If you have hookless ratchet straps, just use those. But that loop right there, feed that hook through. Tighten that. And then to save the pain on your springs, just take an old rag or something, and put it underneath the ratchet. And you can begin to tighten that guy up. Now, your rear spring is going to be a little bit different because you've got dual rate springs, so they're actually split from each other right there. And then you'll take the second spring off from the top, okay? So here it is all finished up. We've got the lift installed, and remember this is a two inch lift. These are 26 inch Bighorn tires all the way around. We'll measure here in just a minute at the lowest point to see how much ground clearance there is. So now from the back of the bike and over to the side with the low hanging area. It's right at 13 inches. But again I'd like to thank Super ATV for setting this up. Uh, they were nice enough to send me this lift in addition to some other Super ATV products that we're going to get installed and take a look at. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos to come and thanks again for watching.